Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Peppers. Today you see we are doing something different, another thing different other than World War II Online. Today we'll be playing War Thunder, a game that is actually representative of contemporary computer graphics. Um, so yes, uh, what I wanted to do to start this series off was something that I haven't seen on YouTube yet. And that is demonstrate the tank, the ground forces, while using a track IR. Because it's it's pretty neat. And I like it. But I just need to set up my tank stuff. Give me a moment. Oh, there we go. We're gonna do realistic, because I just think it's more fun. More fun. I one thing I don't like about this particular one, the Su one two two, is the reload rate is crazy. So whenever I use like anti tank stuff, I usually use this thing. As much as I would like the bigger cannon. All right, we're good to go. So yeah, I'm using the track IR. Uh, it's kind of weird when you're using the view that's sort of behind the tank, but it's really neat when you're using the view where you right click and it's sort of like if you were sitting out the top of the tank, you'd be seeing from that view and it's cool as you will see soon. You know, a few weeks ago, the realistic battles were really fast for getting into, but it seems to have gone back down to the usual slow, long wait to get into them. I think today I'm going to be using... Uh, I'm going to use the T-34, the 1942 one. That's my newest one, and as you see, it's got my signature paint job which I came up with by just putting random shit on my tank it wasn't so much as came up with it but rather just diarrhea it onto the tank yeah okay this is taking a oh there we go okay time with the Carpathians oh I like this map this is a good one for realistic Two armies ran into a fight for possession of the mountain pass. All history textbooks should be like that. Okay, the Battle of Britain. Two armies, they fought for the possession of an area of land. Done. Okay. Although, I do have these better rounds with this teeth. I'm going to go with my, my old fateful. The 1941 T-34. As you can see here, uh, my frame rates aren't brilliant at the moment. Okay. See? Go into this view. Now we can just look around like we're an actual tank commander. I suppose we'll follow our comrades into battle. This is a pretty good map for tanks, because there's areas where there's good cover, and there's large areas that people eventually have to go into, and then they're easy targets. Got an ill 2 on our side, that's always helpful. Don't see anybody yet. But yeah, no, it's pretty cool in this view with the track IR. And I don't know why, I mean, maybe they didn't, maybe someone's done it, but they didn't put it in the title. But I tried to find an example of somebody using the track IR with tanks in War Thunder, but I couldn't find any. It's possible that somebody did it, and they just didn't think it was a very interesting thing, so they didn't put it in the title like I'm going to do to whore it out to everybody. Sorry if I'm making you sick, I'll try and... 
reduce the head motions. Okay. Just gonna. Oops. Look at the map for a sec. I'm used to playing uh, Aces High now, so whenever I want to get the map, I press Escape. Okay. I think we'll go down this road. The one we're pointing down. And see what happens. Oh, this game is so pretty after playing Aces High for a week or so. All the grass and the trees. Although I have looked at the web the Aces High website, and it does seem like they're really making efforts to update the game to more contemporary graphics. I saw some examples of, of water that they were working on, which looked very good. Just as good as it does in this game. Uh, they also had an example of the new shading system they're working on, which looks really interesting too. Uh, don't know when that's going to happen, but as long as it eventually gets updated, that'd be awesome. I was, I was worried Aces High would just end up being relegated to the dustbin of gaming history, but I think it has a chance if these guys work on it, because it's still a very unique platform, and there isn't really anything like it in a strict, in a strictly combat flight simulator sense. I mean, you've got Planet Side, but that's, to be honest, I, I, the aerial combat on it, I don't really think is gonna feel very rewarding to anybody who likes flight simulators. Um, maybe, but it is better in a arcadey sense, I guess. Okay, we got a guy over here. Looks like a Panzer. I don't. Quite have a shot yet. Ooh, a nice target right there, an anti air thing. I don't think I've got a shot though. Nah, no, there's no way. Oh, shy as I, I do. Okay, let's just pull back a bit. We'll fall back, regroup, um, run away back to our teammates. Oh, shit. Let's just get the hell out of here. We're good. That slanting army is in armor is incredibly helpful. Okay, I sort of lost track of our teammates there, and I don't really want to go on this suicidal endeavor alone. I thought there were guys, so I'm just gonna go back around. Anyways, back to I guess I'll have to mention these. It's high. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about, so, moving on, I suppose. But yeah, I've put a lot of time into War Thunder. This is my first video, but I have been playing it pretty much for the past year, uh, since the early beta phases. It has changed a lot since I've started playing. I remember when this was called Historic, not Realistic. Man, can you imagine old people, like us when we're old in the future and we're talking about the days when we used to game on a computer screen? And our grandkids are like, forget that, we have Holodex. Okay, now that I've got a buddy here, I think I'll go in this direction. Dapper Dan is trying to talk to me on Steam like a son of a bitch, um, but we will ignore him for now. B of 110 over there, we've got this guy coming up. The one thing that War I wish War Thunder would introduce is voice chat, not only for squads, but team voice chat. Because in these kind of realistic matches, uh, coordination is pretty important, and it is rather hard to coordinate when you have to type stuff, especially if you're flying, let alone if you're in a tank. Uh, okay, what's our plan? This guy's got him distracted. Maybe I can get up this hill and get a shot. I'll come up to these guys on an angle. Because I think that... Just... 
I think if you're at an angle, it increases the chance that a round hitting you will ricochet. I'm not 100% sure on that, but oh crap. The nice thing about the rift, oh, we won. Awesome. Well, that was our first War Thunder game. It wasn't very eventful, but we will definitely do some more, more interesting ones in the future. Farewell, until next time. Thank <laughs> you.